Hey bakers, John Cannell here, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making the perfect guacamole. Big chunks of creamy avocados mixed in with onion, garlic, lime, cilantro, the works. This comes together in just a few minutes, but you will need to make a mega batch because everyone will eat their weight in it. Okay, let's get started. First off, we're gonna mince two cloves of garlic, and I wanna find mince people, not big, huge chunks. Never use that minced garlic paste that comes in a jar. Don't ask me why, just don't. Oh, this mince is so sad, I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make it work. In you go. Now it's time for the red onion. You could also use a shallot if you wanted to, those are amazing, but red onion will be great. Give you a little bit of color as well. I wanna fine dice on this, and we want about a third of a cup. If you love onion, add some more. If you hate onion, drop it down to a quarter, but it's still important. I could not in good conscience advise you to skip the onion. Okay, let's see how much we actually need. That's a third of a cup. And to lessen the bite of the onion, what we're gonna do is add our, <laughs> my hands. We're gonna add the lime juice right now so that it kind of softens that bite, almost pickles the onion in the acid. I think I should reset this. <laughs> like, Looks a little crazy. We're gonna juice two limes, add that right over the onions. This recipe has zero tomatoes in it. I wanna know from you in the comments, like, do you think tomatoes belong in a guacamole or are they filler? I'm voting for filler. I never heard anyone say, oh, this guacamole is amazing. I wish there were more tomatoes though. Please. What people really want are like the right texture for your guacamole all that fresh missing ingredients. If you love cilantro, you love cilantro. If you hate cilantro, you're like, oh, there's cilantro in here. And then does it have the right bite? So is there the heat and is there the bite from the onion and garlic? Okay. And we'll set that aside while we do the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna use two jalapenos. These are a little bit small, but I think they're gonna give me just the right amount of kick. The bigger ones, actually, I find have way less heat, but these guys, I think, will pack just the right punch. And yes, I should definitely be wearing prep gloves for this. So last week I was shooting a recipe and it had jalapenos in it as well. Oh my gosh, I was being crazy and using my thumb to scoop out the seeds, activating all those oils, getting them deep, deep into me, and my fingers were burning for well over a full day. So like 24 hours, no, 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 no. Add in an extra eight hours of just like burning. I read everything on what you're supposed to do. Run under cold water. You're supposed to use like dish soap to get the oils out of your skin. You're supposed to use alcohol as well. So I use like rubbing alcohol. Uh, none of that worked. <laughs> Anyways, haven't learned my lesson. Still didn't get those prep gloves, but maybe you want some. If you have any secrets for getting jalapeno oil off of your skin, let me know in the comments, because I'm all ears. Okay, oof, these are powerful. <laughs> it's waking up. Whoa. When you chop the peppers, you wanna have the skin side up. That'll make sure you don't get a bunch of like semi-cut pieces of chili. Now for the dice. I think guacamole should have like definitely a kick, definitely some spice but it's not like a hot salsa. It's supposed to be something you really wanna like this chow down on, not feel apprehensive about eating. There we go. I'm gonna clear these seeds away, wash my hands, I'll be right back. Right now I'm adding in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. That's like my starting point for the saltiness. You can mix it up and I'm doing this early because I want the salt to dissolve in the lime juice a bit. Again, so everything is kind of equally flavored. I don't want pockets. Have you ever seen avocado toast and it's at a restaurant, but it says avocado mush that clearly came out of a container? It makes me so sad and angry. There would be a scene. It was on an episode of Real Housewives of New York last night, <laughs> but was not a plot point. It was just there. So now I love cilantro. A lot of recipes will call for a couple tablespoons. I'm using half a cup. This is up to you. You can up it or lessen it as you see fit, but for me, this has a lot of wonderful fresh flavor and I just need it all in my mouth. Okay, let's measure this out. I wanna see if it's about half a cup. 
that's about half a cup. I mean, you could actually just squish it down and double it, but you know, fluffed up, you have about half a cup in there. Pop that in, mix that up. And now it is time for the aguacates. <laughs> I have some big ones and some little baby ones. I feel like three large avocados to four large avocados is good. So I have two big ones. I'm gonna add in a couple small ones too. It'll all balance out. <laughs> well, it was bound to happen. At least it wasn't something breakable. Are there any recipes that you love guacamole in besides chips? <laughs> like, do you like guacamole in some egg dish or with chicken? Let me know, I'm curious. By the way, if you get stuck with avocados that aren't ripe, but you need them to ripen quickly, what you can do is add them into a bag with some bananas, the riper the better. Just cut the tip off the banana like this. So the ethylene gas that the bananas emit as they ripen will also ripen the other fruit, including avocados. So just add them into a brown paper bag. If you have any ripe bananas around, perfect use for ripening your avocados. Ching! The more you know. If you love avocados, by the way, click up over here for my avocado citrus salad. It is delicious and full of creamy, amazing avocados. I like my guacamole to have a little bit of creaminess and a little bit of chunkiness. So I'm taking these avocados and mushing them up. Mush, mush, mush. I'm just using a ricer, but you could use whatever you'd like. And that's the basis for my guacamole. We're gonna take these big creamy avocados now and just give them a dice and then a little bit of a mash slash uh, stern mixing. In you go. Whoa. These are perfectly ripe. It makes me so happy when I get a ripe avocado. I use my spatula to finish it off so I have a really nice combination of big chunks of avocado and mushy, you know, kind of uniform bits. Really great mouthfeel. And you get the creaminess of the avocado with the crunchiness of all of those little onion pieces. They're so good. Good. There is a really nice kick to it, but it's enough to have you coming back for more. Not like, oh, give me enough. Give me another margarita. You'll say that anyways, but you know, not because you're fanning your mouth, it's too hot. And the lime juice really softened up the bite from the onions. So even though there's a third of a cup there, you're not tasting onions. It's like the perfect guacamole. If you like this recipe, you've got to make my fish tacos. It's the perfect pair. It would be delicious with maybe a margarita or two. If you like my videos, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.